हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ करिश्मा एंड दिस वीडियो इज़ वेरी स्पेशल फॉर द पीपल हु ऑलवेज हैव दिस कंप्लेंट दैट मैम आई हैव नो वन टू स्पीक इंग्लिश विद प्लीज सजेस्ट मी सम एप्लीकेशन वेयर आई कैन कनेक्ट विद द अदर पीपल एंड टॉक विद देम इन इंग्लिश सो वॉच दिस इंटायर वीडियो एंड यू विल गेट हंड्रेड परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर वन ऑफ द न्यू फीचर लॉन्च बाई क्लैपिंगो दैट इज कॉल्ड पियर लर्निंग here through this feature you can connect with other co-learners you can talk to them and uh, the beneficial part is that you can not only connect through audio call you can even talk to them like through video so it's an amazing feature by them i have been personally using this feature from last 15 days i have connected like more than 20 25 learners till now and i am going to tell you like they are not learners i have talked to them every time whenever i am connected with them like sometime it's doctor sometimes it's an engineer sometimes it's a teacher so they are amazing learner there because they always verified before registering any person so if you want to enroll or get registration of this particular feature a uh, link has been given in the description box and starting few slots are absolutely free and even after that if it's not free you have to pay a very reasonable amount for that and you can connect or talk like in a month unlimited uh, learners and one of the amazing thing is that they will provide you score card after every conversation so i was you know very surprised when i see this uh, <laughs> when i disconnect the call and you know suddenly i received a message from clapping well put the screenshot here so i received the uh, message like you have scored 61 sometimes 67 so my score card is like always 61 to 67 out of 100 so i i still need to practice a lot so this is amazing and uh, you guys can also join it it is quite useful because you already know that whenever i come up with any suggestions for you i personally use them make i always make sure that it is worth like taking subscription then only i uh, recommend to you so it is my recommendation you can join it it's amazing amazing and you will connect with the good learners like they are above intermediate level so you will surely enhance something and you will surely learn english it's, it's so i have recorded a few conversation for you i get the recordings from clappingo actually so i'm going to put them here you can listen to these conversation and enjoy watching it and if you want to subscribe if you want to download this clappingo app do it right now you will get the benefit you may you might get this feature for free and uh, thank you so much but please watch the conversation till the end thank you so much yeah hi how are you i'm great thanks for asking yeah so yeah, same. yeah so can i just have a quick brief about yourself like something yes sure why not so yeah my name is karishma chauhan i'm speaking to you from gurgaon basically okay. i hail from delhi and i have completed mm-hmm. my education there and mm-hmm. uh, i have done llb so i am an advocate mm-hmm. by profession and also i'm a part time youtuber yeah that's all okay. about me yeah so my name is aditya Uh, I'm born and brought up in Maharashtra, Nasik. So it's been four to five years I've been residing out of Maharashtra. I was in Hyderabad, but recently I relocated to Bangalore. Currently I'm in Bangalore, and I'm a faculty. I teach reasoning okay. part. So for competitive exams and entrance exams, reasoning and aptitude is there. So I only take reasoning because aptitude is not a cup of my tea. <laughs> so I don't take that. It's more of mathematics. So. Okay. though i am an engineer but i i don't like that much of mathematics but reasoning is something where you have lot of puzzles and everything so that's what it is so that's you have done really llb good. right that's a great thing, yes. right so why yes. did you choose this profession like llb because it's like it's very like now most of the students like to go for engineering and uh, medical right but this is something different so anybody like from your parents somebody is there or relatives from that field uh, okay to be honest nobody is there to guide me what i should mm-hmm. do because i am the elder one in my family so it was okay. completely my decision to go with llb and personally i uh, cho- choose this profession only because i i feel that there's a lot of scope to speak you can okay, give your okay. opinion you can argue and i love talking to the people so mm-hmm. i have this communication skill and you know you can say that argument i can do argument really well and okay. uh, when i was started working with a law firm my senior advocate who suggested me like who told me like karishma you have this potential you can argue mm-hmm. well you are very much confident actually so you should do it so okay. that's the reason i do it and it's quite easy actually that is also one of the reason 
okay it's okay. not very so, same with me even i love to have like talk with people to know different culture of the people so that's why from maharashtra it's been telangana now from telangana to karnataka so it's a moving thing for me right so whenever i shift myself i first thing i usually get to know about the people the culture over there so that's make me more of uh, enthusiastic like to know meet many different type of people and all that that is the reason and moreover my profession like i am a, actually i'm a full time content writer but uh, since i relocated to bangalore i didn't had that much of idea about it so meanwhile i thought that let's go on with the teaching thing so now it's like that that i have got so many students so it's like quite difficult for me to get out of that profession and come back to my own original profession so it's like that it has been so it's really fantastic to move around with the people and uh, so yes. uh, that's great so your long term goal is to become an llb right you have already become i have already i am an advocate by profession i am doing my work like i have my own law firm where okay. i do work related to ipr intellectual property right which is related mm-hmm. to trademark and copyright so i'm doing my work yeah and part time mm-hmm. i'm doing youtube okay so what are your interest and hobbies like apart from this like uh, studying would be your one of the hobbies i would say <laughs> because since it's an llb thing so you need to uh, is it like you have to study a lot in llb i don't know much about So no, no, just... no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Even you do not have to study at all in LLB because the concepts are very practical and very natural. The things which we are studying in LLB is the kind of things which mm-hmm. we really wanted to know. Obviously, it is about uh, human rights and you know uh, what are uh, the laws and regulations. Every person wanted to know about that. So it is a kind of interesting thing to read about uh, law. So it's very okay. easy. and uh, second thing is like my hobby is not study i don't like to study at all now <laughs> i just wanted okay, to be that, free that is that is nobody's hobby actually <laughs> but i thought <laughs> it cannot be like anybody's hobby that yes but what about like you like music dance playing some instrument or something like um no i do not have such kind of uh, hobbies but yes my hobby is to scroll or browse youtube i love watching youtube videos especially informational okay. videos uh, i love to watch the content where where i'm getting some knowledge to be honest okay. it's related to knowledge only so yes i i love doing youtube and one hobby is to walk i know it's a weird thing like but walking is my hobby i love walking Okay, so means a uh, brisk walk, like after dinner or something. Yeah, uh, like morning. Well. Yeah, at least one hour of walk is mandatory for me. I feel like, uh, like very fresh after walking. Okay, okay. So where yeah. are you located now? Like which place? In Gurgaon, it's like in Gurgaon. Yeah, it comes yeah, under Haryana. Yeah, proper, proper Gurgaon, like proper Gurgaon. Yeah. So you have taken all your education from Gurgaon only, right? No, it. it's from delhi i hail from delhi but after marriage i got shifted here okay okay so do you find any difference between delhi and gurgaon like culture wise yeah. or yes yeah, yeah. because i had no chance say. to go to delhi nor i got a chance to go to gurgaon so that's the reason I, but it is said that the gurgaon is like most of the delhi people they get accommodated easily with the gurgaon culture and everything so do you find mm-hmm. any challenges when you relocated to gurgaon like As no such. i don't face any such challenges because my husband's job is in gurgaon even when we used to live in delhi he has to travel okay. like uh, delhi to gurgaon so it took 2 mm. hours for him to travel so it was very difficult uh, job or you know it's a lot of time uh, mm-hmm. taking so that's uh, when we decided to move out in gurgaon since we move in gurgaon i am happy I, i i did not find any issue because it's a good place actually to live in because uh, it's a lot of greenery here in gurgaon as compared to delhi pollution is i think less polluted i feel i don't know people don't say that but i personally feel that gurgaon is less polluted as compared to delhi delhi is full of traffic jams which i have never seen in gurgaon and uh, yeah I, i i like living here and how about the season winter is good because delhi winter is very good i have heard like so same, how about almost the... same same almost same no same. difference okay. great yeah. great So, uh, like, when you move to the good town, like, you never face any sort of challenge, like people, because they talk same language, Hindi only. They prefer to talk, like, or Hindi. they have another no, language. No. There are few people who speak Haryani, but they are the people who are like from Gurgaon only or from Haryana. But most of the people uh, living in Gurgaon are from Delhi, from NCR only. So okay. it's easy to communicate with them. The the no. 
what do we say like the language is basically like hindi not any okay. other language so it's very easy to retain okay great great so basically how many languages do you know like uh, including haryanvi then hindi <laughs> i don't know haryanvi <laughs> <laughs> acha you don't know so no, but uh, how long you have been in her uh, this gurgaon like how long it's been 4 years now it has been 4 years. years yeah okay okay yeah. So but i know one know. additional language that is bengali because i got married in bengali family so now i know okay. this language also english okay. hindi bengali all three languages i can speak and understand as well yeah okay that's great so do you find any like uh, difficulty in talking like bengali and like other your own language native language No, I exactly. don't find it difficult now. And now I'm habitual. It's been seven years of my marriage. My kids, like I have two sons. So the older okay. one is like five and a half years old. He speaks okay. such a good Bengali. So like while communicating with him, I'm I'm able to communicate now. Okay, great, great, great. So yeah. So uh, what's that one thing you would like to learn? Like when uh, if you get a chance, other than this, like uh, hobbies and interests, what is that one thing? If you get a chance, like now I, I think so. I want to learn. <laughs> i want to learn only <laughs> new technologies which is coming like day by day i really want to be familiar with that especially i am listening ai ai i want okay. to learn everything about that second thing mm-hmm. i want to learn editing skills mobile editing as i told okay. you that i am a youtuber i yeah, need yeah, to yeah. be edit my videos and i am not able to do that properly because i am not skilled in that field and okay. sometimes even i don't know how to create my thumbnails how to you know edit the video so i really want to learn those skill but because of you know lack of time i'm not able to do that okay that's great that's nice uh, to hear that and uh, since you are a youtube influencer like uh, do you think like uh, uh, means this social media is really playing an important role in the development of a child like since you to have a children right so somewhere yes. this questions everybody asked me so being a teacher i would like to ask you because i got a chance to talk to you so you are a youtube influencer so that definitely it would help me out right so 100% 100% my opinion is 100% my elder one is so intelligent and the all credit goes to this social media because of having youtube and you know it is only you have to keep an eye on the kids like what they are watching but if okay. like they are watching good uh, serials or the good content mm. it is quite mm-hmm. good for their overall development i can see the improvements in my kid he is much uh, better as compared to other kids of his age so yes definitely okay, yes. has great impact but it's not totally up to you and everything they are using it right so education yes. also they are using so it is definitely helping them out right yes so uh, yes. do you think like somewhere the outdoor activities have become less because of this like what do you think <laughs> no i don't think so it's it's totally depend upon the parents like yeah, how much they are engaging with their kids uh, how much they are serious for their overall uh, health developments if the parents are uh, correctly guiding their kids i don't think that it is lacking i don't think um, so yeah in it especially if i talk about my kid i try to even uh, possibly every time i want him to go out at least one hour in the evening it's like his mm-hmm. schedule so like 6 to 7 is is play time in the park <laughs> that that's a very good so every parent should understand this right so they should yes. give a try to that uh, yes. this thing because i have seen like uh, many of my, even in my relations and every many of the parents i have seen they when a child uh, is bored they usually give him a mobile and he sits on playing the games then afterwards they only complain that he is continuously watching the <laughs> this thing so this happens right so it's been noticed but uh, yes even i agree with you that there are a lot of things to be learned and it's a yes. very good platform like uh, to go on so it depends upon us how to use it that's the main thing right exactly so, exactly exactly yeah. okay one more thing i would like to ask you like as you know that i am a youtuber i would like to post this video on my channel so okay. is it okay with you yeah yeah that's the fine no problem at that's all that's it and you're speaking such a amazing english i would say <laughs> as a learner like you're speaking that's so right. well yeah even your english is good like i should say around that that's where but oh, the, what okay. brings you to clapping go like i didn't get it because you have a good command over the language right so what <laughs> other things you would like to improve other than language you will get surprised to know that i am making a lot of grammatical errors while i'm speaking if you go and watch my channel you will mm-hmm. even if you will watch two to three videos you will get to know mm-hmm. this thing very easily that every here and there i am making grammatical errors and that is the only reason that i am using clapping go it's been like 
long time that i've been using it so okay, yeah okay. so do you see any improvement in yourself like yes 100% okay. and i have created solo videos that's okay. that are not promotional videos i have created few videos like sharing my opinion with my audience that yes clapping go tutors are really amazing and just by communicating with them i am improving if you will, if you will watch my videos 2 years ago you will see yeah, drastic yeah. change yes okay. there's a drastic okay. change that's really nice of you like you have told the true because it's like that that because uh, means i have been asking this question to everyone who uh, just i met on clapping go that do you find any change in yourself like and which areas you would like to improve so main yeah. thing is vocabulary part because when we are talking we get to know like lot of new words and everything is yes. like that so yes. apart from that you like traveling Uh, I love traveling, but because of my kids, like my younger one is only eleven months old, oh, okay. so it's not possible for me to travel anywhere. You know, it is sometimes very difficult to take out half an hour or one hour for the conversational video. So that is the reason okay. I create mostly like fifteen minutes video, twenty okay. minutes conversation video. I'm not able to do it like uh, just because of my kids. Okay, okay. So you often go to Delhi, like. it's your hometown yes. so you visit it's my so mother's place yeah so you visit that so that's only the time when you travel right so that's what it is exactly 100% right now like my travel destination is to my home to my mother's home and my mother's home to my in-laws home <laughs> okay okay so your in-laws are also in delhi only right no they are in gurgaon okay they are in gurgaon okay okay fine so you never got a chance to go like in other places apart from delhi like i uh, would go like you never got a chance to uh, no i have uh, visited a few places in india but uh, not like very much there are very few like nainital udaipur mm -hmm. so mostly goa, yeah people, like... i went to goa on my honeymoon so i uh, i love that place okay so which uh, season was it like it was because for goa summer season is very bad like so mostly uh, winter season is good right so that's the thing right because it depends upon the season also so some places like if you visit so when